Senator Ome, now supported by uh, my distinguished comrade. But, but uh, let me remind you, sir, that uh, for now, we are taking contribution from those in support of the bill. Thereafter, we now go those against the bill. So I don't... Yes, sir. Are I'm you for? Supporting. Are you for? If you are not for... I am for. Okay. You know, you have taught us, sir, that once we are in the Senate, it is one house. There is no PDP, there is no APGAR, there is no APC, just the Senate. And um, the first two speakers are from PDP. And they don't have the numbers to get the motion through. So they need to have a handshake across the aisle. I believe that this is, for me, the kind of institutions we should be encouraging, not even universities of technology. Because, Mr. President, sir, it will shock you when you interact with major contractors like, I will mention their name freely here, first class civil engineering contractors. You will find that they need electricians. They will put sign at their site, they can't find. They need plumbers, you can't find. Just basic, those basic skills. If I'm not going to take your time, but it's worth reminding that I travel with President Jonathan to somewhere in uh, South, in um, Southern Africa. I believe it's, uh, it's uh, this small country. Um, but my embarrassment was that the Nigeria ambassador there was pleading with the country's president that they want to train, they should admit Nigerians to learn brick, uh, bricklaying, plumbing. Those basic stuff. And I felt so belittled because the president there reminded us that he was a product of Nigeria uh, Police College Ikeja. And now we are asking him to provide Nigerians opportunity to be taught about plumbing, bricklaying, uh, POP, etc., etc. So to deal with the crisis of unemployment in Nigeria will be solved by the kind of bill that he has proposed. Because we face today not just the fact of so many people not being employed. The real shame, Mr. President, is that a lot of these young people are not employable. And that compound the problem. With skills such as the one that will be taught in the institutions that Senator may propose should be located somewhere in Anambra, which is not too far, to several other cities that are used to uh, uh, jobs like this. I, I think this Senate will be doing Nigerians, not Anambra people. A word of good by shifting emphasis to skill acquisition. And as he lists them out, bricklaying, iron bending, those basic things that the Minister of Labor used to do when I was in Kaduna. Yes, Lens, you, have one, you have one second remaining. So I, second, I support, it has been seconded already, I support that this bill should go through second reading. It is, it is timely, it is um, uh, consistent with our determination to have youths that are not just um, products of universities, that have no skills except they get a job in the, in the public sector. This one will drive the economy at local level and Thank various parts of the country. So, Thank Mr. You. President, sir. I rise to support that this bill should go through second reading. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, and I represent Imo East Senatorial District. Mr. President, I consider this bill a very important one. I have an inclination towards skill acquisition and specialized institutions. Uh, the bill being proposed is about a specialized institution, and I believe that that is the trend. Globally, that is the way the whole world is going. But what makes this bill very interesting is the Nigerian situation. In Nigeria today, we have a shortage of qualified artisans. Mr. President, if you go to your community and you have something to do, to get artisans who will do it for you is an odious task. So an institution like this that will train and prepare them for the task ahead cannot be ignored. And I also believe 
that it will at the same time address the issue of unemployment amongst our youths. And the timing will be right, because once they are coming out from primary school, they can get into some of these institutions that will mold and train them. Instead of allowing them to roam the streets, pick up the wrong values, and when it is late, we now begin to try to uh, train them or give them the requisite skills. At that point, they become untrainable, unemployable. So that is why I support wholeheartedly this bill for this specialized institution. And I urge my colleagues to please do so. Thank you, Mr. President. Th thank you very much. Uh, uh, implementation of Orange Science Report. And you've been somehow a lone voice in this Senate that always go against the establishment of institutions, new institutions. So that's why I was thinking that we we're going to go against the bill. But it's an exception. So you are lucky that I didn't go against your bill. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Leader. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to lend my voice in support of this bill to be read a second time. Mr. President, this bill is germane. This bill is apt. And this bill speaks for the times. Mr. President, one of the major problems that we have in Nigeria today is a problem of examination malpractices. And tell me why. Because the Nigerian system has emphasized so much on certificates that Nigerians will go to any length to acquire the certificates. Whether they acquire the knowledge or not is immaterial to them. And so I think that this bill, if executed, will cure that malice. Secondly, Mr. President, the most successful human beings in terms of business and wealth today are the evils of Southeast. And the reason is very simple. They believe very much in apprenticeship, in learning by doing. And so they are very successful whenever they come out of it. And today we are trying to examine a situation where we can create a platform for Nigerian youths to acquire skills. Because in America, for instance, the artisan, the engineer, is more highly regarded than the ordinary persons you find in government houses and the rest of them. And so they don't have reason to even go to a government job. They will even refuse government job if you offer them one, because they have the knowledge and the expertise to live their lives. And so this is one area of creating that avenue for Nigerians to learn to acquire knowledge, to be useful, and engage in productive activities of their own. Mr. President, finally, I want to inform you that years back, several skills acquisition centers have been introduced in Nigeria. But unfortunately, Mr. President, most of them have been uncompleted. In the last regime, I went to my friend, Minister of Youth and Sports Development, the Sunday Diary, and I said, look, we have these uh, uh, platforms all over the country, and they are uncompleted. Find a way to complete them so that Nigerians can find a way of acquiring knowledge to be useful to themselves. He agreed, but unfortunately, I think because of the exigencies of the time, he was unable to activate those uh, uh, skills acquisition centers. So in addition to supporting this establishment, I will urge the Senate to also know that there are such uncompleted skills acquisition centers spread across the country uncompleted, so that they can be completed, so that Nigerians, especially unemployed youths, can find avenue of acquiring additional skills. Mr. President, it will interest you to note that most university graduates today are learning trades in order to be gainfully uh, self-employed. Whether it is in the saloon, whether it is in the barbing, wherever, they try to find ways of earning livings other than acquiring government a job. So, Mr. President, I support this uh, bill to be read a second time, and I support that it be uh, approved for implementation so that Nigerians can find other alternatives than government jobs to be able to live their productive lives. I thank you, Mr. President. I'm particularly interested because I have a similar bill. So I'm an interested party. And thank you for the honor to lend my voice. 
I get excited when we talk about skill acquisition and uh, vocational training because I'm an engineer and I practice it. I know that the people that drive this project are the people that belong in these categories. So this category of people are the driving forces of the economy that occupy the productive section. So I urge every member of the Senate to support this bill for the second time. And to say, Mr. President, I think it's a high time we begin to put a stop in establishing further universities and concentrate more on this level of education, post-secondary education, that will train our youth on skill acquisition. Thank you. So that they can yeah, be a minute. Thank you. I support this bill wholeheartedly. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Those in favor a bill for an act to establish Federal College of Skills Acquisition and Technology, Agulu, and number of state, and to make comprehensive provisions for its due management and administration and for other related matters 2024. Second reading taken. The bill is referred to the Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund to report back within four weeks. Let me commend the sponsor of the bill and those who contributed in the debate for the second reading. Uh, as said by all here, it is an important agency to be established in order to take care of our zeal to have the necessary manpower to build our nation. Um, it's really important because uh, technicians are the, those involved in the actual work to get all the things we need in development nation put together. Engineers, of course, design. Uh, they do the design and um, supervise whatever is to be done, but technicians are the real people involved uh, in any meaningful work to develop an entity, a nation, or a conglomerate, or a corporate institution, and so on and so forth. So it's really important, once we get it right here, uh, we'll be able to get uh, our zeal to develop a nation properly actualized. So I, I thank you very much for bringing this bill, and we commend all, commend all those who contributed. Uh, the leader of the Senate. Mr. President, I rise to move the motion that this very important bill for an act to establish the Federal College of Skills Acquisition and Technology, AGOLO, in Anambra State, SB 493, be moved. You may wish to proceed. You don't need a second. Thank you, Mr. President. My brother is already itching to second the motion. Senator Moe. Um, Mr. President, my highly respected colleagues, I hereby present the lead debate on this very important bill for an act to establish the Federal College of Skills Acquisition and Technology, Agolo, Anambra State, SB 493. Mr. President, my highly respected distinguished colleagues, permit me to lead the debate on this very important bill. The bill seeks to establish the Federal College of Skills, Acquisition, and Technology, Agolo, Anambra State. The bill was first read, was read for the first time in this hallowed chamber on Wednesday, 3rd of July, 2024. Distinguished senators will agree with me that the acquisition of technical and technological skills is a major requirement for the advancement and development of any nation. Therefore, Establishment of platforms for acquisition of requisite skills through technical and technological education is in itself a source of youth empowerment, which invariably is a sure way of curtailing unemployment in the country. It is instructive to note that Nigeria today ranks among nations 
with very high level of youth unemployment. We have millions of youths idling away without any visible means of livelihood. And this has significantly contributed to the high level of insecurity in the country. As there is a saying that an idle mind is a devil's workshop. However, these idle youths can be salvaged and empowered through acquisition of technical skills that will provide employment opportunities for them, especially in the construction industry, as well as enable them to be self-employed. It is for these reasons that this bill has been conceived to provide trainings in sundry services, such as bricklaying, electrical installations, plastering, roofing, plumbing, painting, cooling systems, refrigeration, carpentry, steel fabrications, welding, ceiling POPs, iron bending and fitting, and so on and so forth. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, it is not in doubt that people with these skills are the backbone of the construction industry in any given nation. For example, in America and other developed countries of the world, great emphasis is placed on skills acquisition among the youth, particularly those not in pursuit of university degrees or diplomas in tertiary institutions. They are known as handymen that render essential services in diverse areas and are properly certified and registered. Distinguished colleagues, on this note, I humbly request my distinguished colleagues to support the expeditious passage of this bill because of its far-reaching relevance to the socio-economic development of this country. In Nigeria today, most of these handymen are employed from Benin Republic, Kotonou, and the rest of it. They are the people rendering these services, which we can get our youths to acquire the skills and begin to offer these services in the construction industry and in our various homes. I so move. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Dr. Tony Mwe, representing Anambra North. I want to second my, this motion and also lend my voice briefly to this uh, uh, bill to be read the second time as moved and espoused by my dear, very distinguished senior colleague, Senator Victor Mwe, for a bill for an act to establish Federal College of Skill Acquisition and Technology at Golo Anambra State and to make comprehensive provisions for ease due management and administration and for other related matters. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, in as much that the unemployment rate decreased from 5.6% to 5.3% in second quarter, which is commendable. But at the same time, youth unemployment stands at 6.50% nationwide. But we must say that despite this decrease in unemployment rate in this quarter, that there is a very need for this bill to be read second time so that this school acquisition center can be established in Agolo and not a local government in Anambra State, so as to create more opportunities for our youths to be educated in science, technology, and mathematics, especially on school acquisition. There's a need for this institution to be established so that some people can be gainfully employed so as to reduce insecurity, reduce unemployment, and other things that are plaguing our youths. So I'm lending my voice that we are appealing to our distinguished colleagues to support for this bill to be read second time. I so second. Thank you. Senator Anderson of Shomoli,